In the last one week, Kaduna State has witnessed attacks on two secondary schools in the state, with the latest being the abduction of the principal of Government Technical College, Mr. Francis Maji, at Kajuru Village in Kajuru local government area. This door riddled with bullets by gunmen is the entrance into the official residence of the principal of the college, who until last night never emphasized that the school will come under siege by armed men, a repeat of what happened about two years ago. <laughs> the wife of the principal narrates what played out before her husband was taken. The wind at the back of the door and they break and they enter. And my husband was here. So when they came, they were just asking him to open the door. And when he came, he said, I mean, how, am I, how am I going to open the door for you? So when he opened the door, as far as he habit, he ran outside, he was shouting that they should help me. So there was nobody because they are holding sophisticated uh, weapons. So there was nobody that came out. The school is located beneath the famous Kajuru Hills and few meters away from the local government secretariat. The students and teachers say the college, which was established over 20 years ago, is no longer safe for them as the premises has no fence and security. They should first bring security personnel for us here and strategize them around the school so that we will know that this school will be secured to avoid things like this. We are appealing to them that they should do something. You can see the, even the school doesn't have good fence. There's no fence with this in the staff quarters areas. Oh, daddy. Opinion may be divided over why Kajuna State has become a hotspot in recent times for attacks on schools, which seem to have become one of the new tactics adopted by kidnappers. There is, however, an urgent need to address the menace, which could likely affect academic activities in Kajuna State in the long run.